Hello everyone, welcome back to TechGlobe YouTube channel. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to remotely watch our domain user screen using group policy in Windows Server 2022. First of all, I'm going to open Server Manager. The computer name is master and domain name is techglobe.local. The static IP address is 192.168.216.143. All right. So now what I'm going to do, click on tools and select active directory users and computers. For this demonstration, we have one more client computer, which is Windows 10. Okay. This is our Windows 10 client computer. Right now, I'm not enable the remote desktop section in this computer. So I'm going to enable, click on advanced system settings and enter the administrator username and password and here you can see uh, right now not allow the remote connection so I'm going to manually enable and then click on select user and here you can see there is no user enabled so what I'm going to do, I'm going back to the Windows Server and this is our client computer. Okay, click on Office PC and these are the users. All right, and now I'm going to enable the Glenn user remote screen uh, watch live. Okay, so let me go back to the client computer to add the user add button and go to advance and find and here I'm going to select Glenn user okay then click OK and apply then OK and now we have enabled the client computer remote desktop okay let me go back to Windows Server on the active directory I'm gonna create new OU to move our client computer right click on the domain name and select new organizational unit and type here HR PC okay then click OK and now I'm gonna go move this client computer to the HR OU right click and select move then click on HR okay then click OK all right now our client computer is moved to the HR OU and after this on the server manager click on tools and select group policy management expand the domain and right click on HR PC and create a GPO then I'm going to type here remote user screen then click OK expand the OU and right click on the remote screen GPO and click on edit then under the computer configurations expand policies and expand administrative templates then expand Windows components and scroll down here you can see remote desktop services expand and and expand the remote desktop section host and click on connections on the right side you can see set rules for remote control of remote desktop service user sections double click then click on enable and below you can see the options view section without user permission okay so then I'm going to click on that and apply then okay now we have enabled the group policy all right then I'm going to close this then I'm going to open the active directory users and computers select the Glenn user right click and select properties click on the remote control and uncheck require user permission and select 
view the user section okay then click on apply then okay so once it is done update the group policy open run and type cmd type gp update slash force and hit enter after this and update the group policy the client computer also then after that type the command query space user and hit enter and now here you can see we got the system id number which is number one is active so we need this number to view the remote computer from the server after this i'm going to restart the client computer then once it is done we can remotely watch live from the server the client computer after restart i'm going back to the windows server then type the command mstsc space slash shadow colon user space enter the id number number one and space slash v colon the computer name is client 5 okay and hit enter now here you can see we are going to access the user screen live okay and now here you can see we are watching from the server live our domain users okay so this is the Glenn user screen we have successfully remotely live watching going on and this is one of the good features Microsoft provide and now I can watch everything let me go back to the client computer So now here you can see I can watch live the user computer without any additional software. And dear all viewers, this is the way how to configure remote live watching screen. And if you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe, like and share. See you in the next video.